A dangerous and deadly year for pedestrian accidents in Raleigh. Police are investigating more than two dozen incidents of people being hit by vehicles so far this year. That's more than double the number from the same time in 2021. And the latest deadly incident happened this morning on Glenwood Avenue. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. Raleigh police have victim uh, have identified the victim as Otoniel uh, Hernandez. A driver remained at the scene and no charges have been filed at this point. CBS 17's Galat Malaman is live in Raleigh looking into the increase in pedestrian deaths. Galat. And speed is one of those factors that advocates I spoke to say is so important to survival rates. There's a checker right here on Glenwood Avenue, but no cars are driving through it right now. Statewide, the number of pedestrian deaths have remained the same through November 25th compared to the same time last year, but they're up 9% over the five-year average, and advocates say that needs to change. Five people have now been hit and killed by a car while walking in Raleigh in just over a month. What's happening in Raleigh is what's happening across the state of North Carolina. And we saw that um, as COVID hit, people were driving less, but our fatality and serious injury rate for active mobility users went up. Numbers from Raleigh police show pedestrian deaths more than doubled this year, 27 this year, compared to 10 through the same time last year. Terry Lansdell is the executive director of Bike Walk North Carolina. He says there's not one solution to decreasing pedestrian fatalities. But first and foremost, the responsibility falls on the person behind the wheel. Failure to control your vehicle as a driver is critical in this conversation. The consequence of error is far greater for a driver to make a mistake than a pedestrian. He says roads could be designed in a more pedestrian-friendly way, including no right turns on red and more funding for projects with people, not cars, in mind. We, we do have a challenge in North Carolina because there is a law that says the North Carolina Department of Transportation can't spend money as a state match on any standalone bicycle or pedestrian project. Lansdale also points to greater survival rates at slower speeds. The driver of a vehicle has a responsibility by law to see a human 200 feet ahead of them. And if they cannot do that and come to a complete stop, they're driving too fast for conditions. Over the summer, Raleigh adopted its own version of a statewide initiative to cut down on traffic fatalities. A spokesperson for the city's transportation department tells me they'll be presenting their goals to the city council for the first time next month. Live in Raleigh, Gilat Malamid, CBS 17 News. All right, Gilat, thank you.